Red Hat Cloud Forms is an open hybrid cloud management framework that delivers the flexibility and agility businesses want with the control and governance that IT needs. With Cloud Forms, you can build and manage an open hybrid cloud infrastructure, build cloud applications, and manage application life cycles, and enable governed self-service deployment for your end users. This demo will show you how you can deploy an application to the cloud from a self-service portal with Red Hat Cloud Forms. First, I'll log into the Cloud Forms application as an end user. Cloud Forms allows administrators to enable user access via roles-based access controls for deploying applications to the cloud. When a user logs in, he can see the cloud resource zones that he's been given access to by the administrator. Cloud resource zones provide users with access to a set of cloud infrastructure resources to run their applications. Each user has access to one or more cloud resource zones and a corresponding application catalog for deploying applications to these zones. In this example, I'm going to deploy to the online store UAT zone. Then, I'm going to select the application catalog that is mapped to this zone. This will show me all the application blueprints that I have available to deploy in this catalog. In this case, I only have one, which is called Online Store UAT. I can also view the details of each application blueprint, like the size of the instance it will be deployed to. To choose this application, I'll just click the Select button. Administrators can configure Cloud Forms to launch boot time configuration scripts that execute when an application instance launches. This is useful for adding or configuring any additional software components required for your application. On this screen, I can view those configuration scripts and set any launch parameters that the administrator exposed for those scripts. Finally, I'll select the resource cluster where I want the application to run. In this case, I'll select RevM as the provider. The administrator could also abstract this provider from the end user. To launch the application, I'll just click the Launch button. You can see that the launch is in process, and shortly that instance will be up and running in my cloud. I'll repeat this process to launch the same application blueprint to a VMware vSphere provider, choosing the same application blueprint from the catalog. For the resource cluster, I'll now select vSphere. And finally, I'll launch this second application instance. We now see that we have two instances in the launch pending state. Once the application instances are started, I'll see that the state for both is running. To confirm that the RevM instance was deployed successfully, I can click on the instance icon. Then, I'll select the View Details button. Here I can find the IP address for this instance. I'll copy that and then paste it in a browser to see if my application is up. And here I see that the Apache web server that I deployed on my instance is indeed running. I'll now repeat that process for vSphere. And likewise, I see that the vSphere instance is indeed also running successfully. I could also log into each of these instances directly to make sure they're running. Here, I'll open the terminal window SSH into one of the two instances, and then run a few commands to confirm that it's working properly. Administrators can also manage these running instances with CloudForms System Engine. Here, I'll log into the System Engine interface as an administrator. I'll click on the Systems tab, and then select All, and I see that I have the two instances registered. If I drill into each of these instances, I can confirm that they are indeed running the RevM and vSphere application instances that my user deployed. In this demo, you've seen how Cloud Forms can enable end users to deploy applications to multiple cloud providers via a self-service portal controlled by policy and access controls configured by the administrator. This provides a governed self-service capability that gives agility and flexibility for users while allowing administrators to maintain governance and control.